got to start playing with that. That's pretty potent stuff. Right, on today's episode of RC Kicks, we're going to be finishing off this, the Mercedes-Benz 190E Zack Speed. So stay tuned. It turns out... Mwah. Hi, and welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, well, this is part three of the Mercedes-Benz 190E on the TT01E Type E chassis. If you haven't seen those previous videos, I recommend go check them out. I'll put a link up here. As in this video, we're basically finishing up the body, getting all the decals on, showing you all the modifications I've done to try and push this kit to a higher level and all the things that I would recommend you do if you are going to build one of these and learn from my mistakes. So we're going to mix it up a little bit today. Instead of doing it the normal way of just going through each step, I've actually finished it and it came out beautifully. So the idea of this video is I'm going to show you what I did in the stages and then show you what I did differently. This is a kit that's a little bit different to anything that you've done before. Because of the color schemes and things like that, it's kind of unique and it creates quite a few problems. So let's kick off with what did I think of this build? Well, overall, loved it. It's very different. If you like your rally cars and stuff like that, having one this kind of color scheme is a bit different. But the problems are this, the gold aspects. Getting the gold aspects right is a challenge. So what did I do differently? Well, we'll start at the front, for instance. As you can see, I've got a gold tint to the uh, main grill. I did that to tie it in with the rest of the car because the actual standard one is in like a silver a kind of chrome finish so you've got silver and everything else is gold so uh, I did that the way that I did it I did the black first then I actually smoked the I laid down some smoke after that I laid down a uh, very light layer of gold then on top of that I actually put some semi-gloss uh, clear on it and that's what's got me to this kind of metal. It's not vibrant gold, but it does tie it in better and I was really happy with it. Next thing I did was the standard wheels that you get with it. The gold color on the plastic is nowhere near the colors that you're painting it and it just doesn't go whatsoever. So what did I do? Well, I sanded them all down. Then I um, used some primer, primed them up sanded it down again then i put three coats of gold on after that dried i actually put two layers of clear over the top to give them a bit of a sparkle and that ties them in nicely with the rest of the colors so highly recommend it obviously if you're going to drive this car hard you're going to get scratches in this but the under color is actually gold as well so if you chip or chunk these wheels there is actually gold plastic underneath so i think it's worth doing for sure some other things that i changed and one that does take quite a while is the rear spoiler this rear spoiler is supposed to have all this gold section is a sticker now the problem is you're folding stickers all over this and underneath it and it won't last so you're much better off going to the trouble of spraying it up green now it comes in a plastic green color but again completely wrong for the metallic green of the car what you've got to do there's actually a join here so you've got to glue the top part to the bottom part then sand out the sides use a little bit of filler fill it in then you do primer across the whole spoiler and that will get rid of that line for you as well and make it look like one piece after you've primed everything go over with the metallic green over the whole thing once you finish that what i did is i actually cut out the gold decal laid it over the top to get this angle because this angle needs to work with the other angles in the car once you've got that, mask off everything apart from the top section, then blast it with the same Tamiya Gold. The PS is fine that you used on the body and there's just enough to do the wing, the wheels, and everything from one tin. So you don't need two tins. Once it's dried completely, you can then clear it over the whole thing to give it a little bit more uh, sparkle because obviously if you're using PS on the uh, outside instead of uh, inside, uh, it's quite dull because the polycarbonates what gives it its polish shine color. 
whereas you'd have to normally go back to a TS paint from Terrier. But getting the matched color could also be a bit of a challenge. So I find you just let it dry and then clear over the whole lot. And then you've got yourself uh, the colors that you want and it's much neater and tidier. Then you just cut out the decal the AMG decal and then just mount it on. Then you have another decal here which comes later on which just goes over which will help hide your line if you're not very good at blending out um, filler and things like that. Now that takes quite a lot of steps so it takes a while but I can highly recommend it. It just lifts the kit again the same with the wheels. Now these are things that you don't actually have to do but I highly recommend them. What other aspects are there? Now, this is not totally finished. I am waiting on some black edge tape. Why? Because I want to do the doors. I want to do some around the windows, but I need ultra fine black, as well as I want to do the bonnets and stuff like that. Now, on this car, which is a little bit different, you don't get all the windows uh, edges. So when you do paint your body up, you've got to be super careful of your windows because there is certain areas where you don't actually have the standard window surround. Another thing that I did is through this section here as it goes onto the windows, I actually cut this out. I didn't on this bit, but here and here you can actually remove that and then stick it down. When you don't, you actually can see the texture of the uh, sticker in the windows. So again, a little bit more attention to detail on that front. One thing that I would like to do is the front lights kind of let it down a little bit because they're just sort of just general stickers. It would be nice to actually take the paint off and actually have proper lights on it. That would be something in the future that if you could find something that would work better than that, that would definitely be a way forward. Uh, so all in all, a kit that is probably a bit more challenging. And if anything, it just takes way longer than you expected it to. This take me, took me about four days, uh, not flat out, but stopping, starting, waiting for paint to dry, putting another layer on another layer and things like that. The decals aren't super difficult but um, there's a few things you need to work on when you're painting the body up uh, and you're doing this gold section, there's a very faint line for the edge of the gold. Definitely use that because that helps you then line up this uh, and then this decal along here from that point of view. But I am super chuffed with it. I really like it and uh, I can highly recommend it. Now, obviously it's on a pretty boring chassis, but this one will go into the collection mainly as just a static model, even though it fully works. So there you go. Post in the comments below, what did you think? Is it something you'd be interested in? Or would you rather just go for the white one? <laughs> Uh, I've been umming around about getting the white one. Uh, the white one is the one that's only supposed to come out in Germany and it's a bit rarer than this one. But to be frank, I think this one is much harder to do than the white one. Anyway, we move on to the next project, which is back to the fix and flip. So uh, yeah, super happy with it and it'll be great to go into the collection. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.